I think all of us um, used to hear about the synapses or yes, the good connections, right? Uh, for the brain cells during the early years. Uh, yes, it uh, happened uh, even before birth and then uh, still keep going, uh, especially during the second or third year of life. The, the nerve cells or the brain cells need the proper stimuli uh, to uh, make the process go on, you know. And proper stimuli uh, must come from uh, the natural environment. You know, we are human beings, so if the proper stimuli, the pre-program, you know, we got the genetic determine and we, we are uh, the ratio something, you know, the pre-program of the nervous system, get the good stimuli and then just click and you know uh, produce the good end products okay but if the early years kids or children get the yes improper stimuli you know what what are the improper stimuli i would say it's like um, material you know the uh, non-human, <laughs> non-human uh, interaction. Like, especially nowadays, uh, we gonna we we are in the uh, high technology era, and a lot of electronics uh, devices, electronic um, stimuli something. Our brain cells are not programmed for that kind of things. You know, we are not robot. So. <laughs> So if, if we give that kind of stimuli, so the, the, the brain cell seem to be too, so confusing, you know. So the, syn the, the proper or the um, good synapses would not you know, be, uh, it cannot process until the end product. So uh, this is very, very harmful to uh, the brain cells, uh, but anyway, um, the research about the uh, program or uh, in terms of, you know, like uh, from the television or the medias or the iPad or any electronics devices or gadgets claim that we, they, they got the good programs for stimulation of the brain cells in in the program, you know the the contents of the program via that kind of things uh, claim that the contents are useful for the brain development. You know, I I agree for some program that got the good content, but the methods to you know, provide our children is not via the electronic medias. I, I would say that if the parents can introduce such content on their own, are useful. For example, if we uh, would like to, to teach our children uh, to know um, uh, an elephant, you know, when we speak elephant and we look at the children and uh, we smile at them and you know we sometimes we can uh, even sing a song about the elephant something you know this kind of activities are very useful to help the brain develop you know